Angeles, Jasmine Kanick. Social and political commentator, Jasmine Kanick. Cultural critic, Jasmine Kanick. What are we doing wrong in America that is perpetuating racism? First of all, many of the shows on this very network help perpetuate the racism how that exists though? in America. Just don't, so don't love a grenade there, without okay? telling me how. I mostly focus on social issues and race issues. Obviously, from an unapologetically black point of view. It's frustrating that we have conversations in the black community about how we have to talk to police officers. What are the conversations going on in police departments about how they talk to us? You wonder why the community has so much mistrust of officers. It's because of their leadership. People who are unemployed, living in poverty, you know, feel that they're being abused by the police. Yeah, you may want to have your voice heard. There are still a lot of issues plaguing black people, which is why you have groups like Black Lives Matter. When you look at the crimes that um, people of color, black and brown folks are charged with, and then you have a white person who's charged with, let's say, a similar crime, there's no way that he should be out on bail. Sometimes being an ally means you have to get up and actually do something. White people don't get to tell us who our civil rights leaders are. I spent a lot of time with Bill O'Reilly on Fox News before he got canned. And I figure if I can sit down and talk to Bill O'Reilly about black issues, I can talk to anyone. We're in such a rush to get rid of things that remind, that remind us of bad times in our history. And it's like, yeah, it, it was bad, but you know what? We also have to remember what happened and pass that down in hopes of not repeating it as well. So Jasmine, tell us the story and let's take it apart. An African-American woman is suing Walmart for having black hair care products locked up in their stores. It could be just the Republican Party saying, you know, we don't want divisive candidates out there. Oh, Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like to talk about issues that people are uncomfortable talking about. So, um, you know, I'll be the girl that talks about the N-word in, you know, hip-hop and rap music. It is a very short leap from the words bitch and ho to you standing out here saying me too. There's only one genre that encourages violence against women that where it's acceptable, where it makes people millions of billions of dollars, and that's hip-hop. Jasmine Kanick writes and blogs about the long-running battle by black Americans against degrading themes in music and popular culture. We have to shift our way of thinking. You know, we really want to make um, an institutional change. L.A. native Jasmine Kanick was just 14, the rioting right outside her window. You knew that something was terribly wrong when you have that many people angry and upset in the street. Yet she never left. A community voice for neighborhoods still struggling. You asked me a question about how do we change it and is there hope? There is hope as long as people want to be honest about it and they want to honestly make the changes that need to be made. You know, sometimes people agree with me and sometimes people don't. That's okay, but at least we're talking about it. Jasmine, thank you for being the voice, oftentimes for the voiceless. Thank you for standing up against waves that are like the swift currents of a torrent going downstream, and you choose to go upstream against this pool. Thank you for standing up for people who have been put down for so long. And thank you for remaining in the midst of a community that can benefit from you more than anybody else. God bless you. Thank you for your courage. Jasmine is a member of uh, Fame Church and a member of one of the prominent members of uh, this, this congregation. Uh, that being the, the president of BMS. Um, but she's being chosen because of her courage, her faith, her commitment, yeah. and her dedication to speak truth to power. Sometimes with a stronger voice than preachers who would cower and turn the other way because of the perceived impact that may be unfavorable against their speech. Yeah. But this young woman stands tall. Oh. And we just want her to keep up, keep on doing, continue to do 
what you've done so well. Amen. And may God enrich your days. Amen. you have a word of wisdom for us? I would not be here if it was not for my grandparents praying for me Amen. and my grandma praying for me and my family for Cousin Vivian, Kimba, everyone. Thank you very much. It takes a village, and I'm here only because of you and the trust you put in me. Let's keep the village together. God bless you. Thank you so much.